Hi friends, in this lesson you will learn how to create a floating bar like mobile apps in the bottom of your website. So when you will scroll up and down, it will always show on top of your content. So people will easily contact with you with the help of these useful icons. They can call, email, chat and see your location with the help of map. This kind of floating bar are very really useful for small businesses or service based website. So the visitors and client will easily contact with the help of these useful links. To create this, first go to templates area which is under bricks menu. Create new templates, give it a name, mobile photo like apps or floating action bar. Then go to template type and select a section template. Then publish it. Now let's edit this template with bricks. We are creating footer for mobile menu. So go to mobile breakpoint and we will create it here. Click on section to add a section. Now select the inner container and add 4 blocks inside it. In these blocks we will add icons. Now click on container again and change flex direction to horizontal. Also change flex wrap to no wrap. Now all the blocks are aligned horizontally. Now click on first block and add SVG element inside it. For SVG icons, I have found this website icons.js.org which is quite good. You can type here the name of any icon like phone and click on search and choose any icon from here like this one. In bottom there is a lot of options. You can see here download option for SVG. Click on this, it will start downloading. Also downloading some other icons like email, chat and map. After downloading these icons, you can go back to Bricks Editor and you can click here, load your downloaded SVG from here. I have already uploaded so I will choose icons from here. After inserting SVG, change its width to 32 pixel. Now click on first block and add top and bottom 16 pixel padding. Now go to content tab and set alignment into center. Now it's look good. Now delete the other blocks and duplicate the first one 3 time. Now select the other SVGs and swap it. After swapping icons, select the first block, go to HTML tag and change it to a link. You can select your link from here. I am just putting a dummy link. For accessibility purpose, type here call us. So now it will be clear for screen reader. Now select the second block, change HTML tag to a link. And here for accessibility purpose type email us. Now select the third block, change it to a link this time and add aria label chat with us. Now select the map block, change HTML tag to link. And put aria label git directions. After adding links and aria labels, I also want to change its background to white color. Click on section. The ground is changed to white color which you can't see it because the page color is also white. Now to add a border here, click on container, go to CSS tab, copy the CSS code from video description and paste it here. This CSS code will add right border for all the element except the last one. After adding CSS, click on section and add border top 1 pixel, style solid and color light gray. Also add some box shadow, add shadow color light gray and reduce opacity to 0 0.5. Add x axis 0 and y axis minus 3 so it will appear only on top. Add blur value 10. Now let's check it on front end. Now you can see it's look good. 
After adding bulk shadow, go to layout tab and find Z index and put here a big value so it will always on top of other content. After this, let's hide it on desktop and tablet. In content tab, here is a display option. You can change this display option to none. So it will hide on all breakpoints. And in mobile, you can change display option to flex. So it will only appear on mobile and hide on other breakpoints. After hiding it on other breakpoints, click on this cog icon, go to template setting, conditions, add condition, select entire website. So it will appear on entire website, hook name. For reference, you can see here bricks before footer. Type here same hook bricks before footer. I am pasting it here and set its priority to 10. I want this navigation menu always show on mobile in bottom like mobile apps for this click on section element again and change position from static to fixed in bottom field put zero now you can see this position is changed to bottom it will always stick in the bottom of the page like mobile apps i hope you have learned something new today see you in the next video